We're along the Tuolumne River and we found what we think is a rather unique uh, rock formation here with bedrock mortars. The rock formation is a uh, trough-like formation in the natural rock that angles down towards the water, which you can see right down there. And there's a line of bedrock mortars that perfectly are at the bottom of uh, this trough. And this, uh, this large hole up at the top is like a basin, and there is a, uh, a bedrock mortar in that, in that basin. And there's all kinds of other bedrock mortars around here also. There's some down there closer to the water. You can see four of them in the distance, right before the water. And then on the, on the sides over here, there's quite a few bedrock mortars. We haven't taken the uh, time to clean all of them out because this is the, uh, the focus of our investigation is this line of mortars. And what we, what we think is that the, uh, the Miwoks may have intentionally put these mortars here in this trough-like formation in this row so that what they could do is uh, put water up here at the very top and pour water here and have it flow down over the top of each of these holes in succession. And so they would sort of automate the uh, rinsing process of the acorns that they would have uh, ground in these holes, acorns or, or other uh, seeds or berries or whatever that, that might have been in the holes. So anyhow, what we're going to do is pour some water in here and show how this will flow down through this trough. Yeah, okay, there's the water, it's starting to come down. Pour another bucket. There goes the water. Now it's filling up that hole, filling up the next hole, filling up the next one, filling up the next one, and running down. All right, we're filming from the top end right now, and the water's being poured into the top basin. You can see that water flowing just perfectly down the trough. Let's take a look at something right here, a little more detail. I don't know if you can see it or not, but between the two holes, Right in here, there seems to be some uh, some erosion that has occurred between the two holes, right, perfectly right in the middle here, and that's true also right here, and between some of the other holes, right here. So again, that uh, perhaps provides some evidence that uh, water was intentionally poured over a long period of time, and it gradually wore this groove out between the two holes. Or perhaps the Miwoks uh, actually chipped out this rock in order to uh, facilitate the water draining from one hole to the other. All right, we're pouring some water into the upper basin. And you'll see as the basin fills, the water will then flow over one hole one mortar to the next to the next. There's a good example of the water flowing over the tops of each of the mortars and it drains perfectly down to the bottom of this rock. And we're not far away from the river as you can see.